Hi, thank you so much for joining me for today's process video and today is day 22 of September 2024 and today's prompt is family. So I've chosen this photo of us all in Sicily, that's me and my family <laughs> um, and that's what I'm going to document. Now I don't know about you but sometimes I get a bit bored of the collections that I've got on my scrapbooking shelf. I don't have hundreds of collections and sometimes I just don't know what to choose. So today I decided to go back into my scraps which um, if you've watched my previous videos you'll know I've sorted into four folders. So I've got blue and green together, um, pink and red together, yellow and orange and then all the neutral tones in um, four different envelopes. So today I pulled out the blue and green and I'm just creating a huge mat for this photo to sit on. So I've just pulled out some colours that I thought I would like to work with and I've kept them in the strips that they're in. Some of them I did trim down before I hit record um, where they had sort of circles punched out of them and things. So I just made them all so that they were rectangular or square. So you can see I'm just layering them up, keeping them the size that they are more or less. I don't think I ended up cutting any down. And you can see on the left of my glass mat there, I've got a little frame that I'd created previously. That was to show how to create those frames when I was doing one of my and or kits and classes. Um, so I thought I would use that today as well. So just tucking everything around, deciding how it's going to go, and then I'll peel it all off and stick it down to the page. <laughs> Um, these are all the bits that I want to use, so I'm just trying to work out how I can put them all in. I'm going to use that frame as a base for uh, my cluster and my title. And then that strip at the bottom there. I've also pulled out a load of stickers and things. Some of them are newer stickers, like I've got the adventurous stickers from Paige Taylor Evans, but that's all I've got from her collection. And some of them are really old stickers, so um, I just thought it'd be fun to go through my bits that aren't part of a collection and use some of those up. So you can see I'm just pulling that up. It wasn't quite straight, so great start to the layout, <laughs> but it does get better. Well, it kind of gets better and then it gets worse again, but you'll see as I go along. So I'm um, just sticking that down and then using my T-square ruler to check that it's straight. And then just going through and methodically adding each piece as I go. So they may not go back in exactly the same position as I had them, but I know roughly how I want them to be. This is the biggest piece, so obviously I want that to go at the bottom because if I add it on top of other pieces, it's going to hide them all. So just getting that stuck down. And you can see these are a mixture of all different collections. It's just the scraps that I had left over. Once I've finished using a collection, once it's more or less spent, I just add all the um, scraps into my various envelopes. And then um, the other bits left from the kit go into a couple of drawers that I've got by my desk. Uh, so I've got one with all stickers and thickers and things and then one with embellishments and stuff. So they're the things that I've pulled out of to finish the layer, layout off. So just tucking that under there. I'm trying to remember what went under, what went over. <laughs> like I say, it probably won't be exact, but um, I'm just making sure that I'm happy with all the different colours in all the different places. Just getting that one stuck across the bottom. And then this other big piece, which is the photo mat. And it's at this point that I realise, this is where it goes a bit wrong, I realise that um, I've managed to create the block much further across the page than I'd intended. And if I look at that second strip on the left-hand side, that's where it went wrong. I've stuck that far too far over on that gingham. So um, I'm just going to finish sticking it while I have a think. <laughs> and then I do decide to pull everything up and just move it across a bit. And it was fine. It didn't, um, it tore a tiny bit of the backing paper, but it was going to be covered anyway. So it really didn't matter. So it's here that I realise that for definite, I've gone too far over because these pieces are much further over than they were when I started. <laughs> So just bringing that photo in and that shows me it's much too central. Um, I wanted it more on the left hand side. So here's where I start pulling everything up. So I just pull it up as one complete block, obviously move that photo and frame to one side and then stick it back down. You can see I've moved everything much further over to the left. Uh, so there's just about half inch showing of that paper on the left. So just trimming this, I noticed it was a little bit janky, so <laughs> just trimming that to make it straight. And then I'm going to add some white cardstock behind it just to um, hide all the strips of paper 
so that it gives a calm base for my title and things. Managed to get some ATG on the card that's showing, so I'm just rubbing that off. And that's just going to sit there under the photo. So I'll get everything stuck down. But first of all, I want to distress all the edges of the papers. I decided not to do that before um, sticking everything down. I wanted to get it all stuck before I started distressing. So I'm just going to go around using my fingernails and get all of these edges distressed and curled up. And I just really like the look of that. And it creates a lovely dimension and texture on the page. So that's that all done. So just bringing that photo back in and now I can get it stuck down. And I am going to go flat to the page today. There's a lot um, of layers behind this photo, so I didn't really want to add too much more dimension using foam. And I'm just going to tuck this frame in ever so slightly on the right hand side. So my title is a foam sticker from um, Simple Stories Noteworthy Foam Stickers. I've been using these in some of the page kits that I create for Hey Little Magpie. And I had this one left over, so... And decided to use that on this layout. I'm just again using my T-square just to check that it is straight there. And then getting that stuck down. And then I'm going to bring in these Simple Stories, um, Simple Essentials, Simple Vintage Essentials sticker book. Uh, this is the original one that they did in Blacks and Creams. So I'm just going to spell out the city that we were in in Sicily. And then I'm going to come in with my Ellie Studio Summer Words. I wanted this one that says trying to stay cool because it was so hot the whole week in the med. They were having a really hot spell. I think it got up to 36 um, when we were here in Sicily. It was just crazy. And then this is an old um, Maggie Holmes, I think, sticker sheet. And I just like that little camera on there. So I wanted to get that in. Um, and then I found my film strips, which had been buried in the drawer. <laughs> so just bringing one of the solid ones in here to finish up that little cluster and then I decide to add a whole film strip behind as well. And I wanted the camera elements because a lovely Sicilian came along. She saw me taking pictures of the family and she said, let me take a picture, a family photo. So it was really nice that she did that for us. So I wanted to document that on this layout as well. So these are old um, American Crafts stickers. I forget whose collection it was now. They're years old. Um, and I'm just going to add some of those about the page. I'm slowly trying to use them up. You can see that the V has disappeared off the Wear Valentine. It's probably why I've got it. I probably didn't put it in stock because uh, it was misspelt. I try and catch those before <laughs> putting them into stock where I can. So just getting that film strip stuck down and then sticking this down. Those stickers are quite old, so they don't have much adhesive left to hold onto the page. So it was just a little label sticker and um, that camera from that sheet that I used. And then I see another little um, epoxy arrow on that American Craft crepe paper sticker pack. So add that. And these are those adventurous stickers that I was saying about. And um, I found this one that said the best day in gold. And I thought that would work really nicely because um, it was our favourite day of the whole cruise when we were in Sicily. And then a little puffy arrow underneath just to fill in that gap. I felt there was quite a big gap between that puffy sticker and the title today. So adding that. Now I've got some pink fresh stickers, sunshine on my mind. So just one at the top that says our favourite place. And then I do add another one at the bottom that says love this. Um, I'm just going to tuck in my little tab at the top there so I can add the date. I think I do that off screen actually because I hadn't looked up exactly which day it was. So um, you'll see that in the close ups at the end. So here's that love this square and it's just tucking in at the bottom there just as if it was another um, paper layer really at the bottom and then some of these epoxy hearts from that crepe paper pack and then I find this um, tag from one of the simple stories papers that I tucked in my blue and green papers so I'm just going to use that at the top here just trying to strategically hide the carrots and gardening gloves because <laughs> they're not really appropriate to my story here but it's going to fit in nicely there so I'm just going to glue that down and then distress the edges struggling to get it tucked in behind all those layers. There we go. And then I wanted to add a couple of ribbon loops down in that bottom left hand cluster. Again, just to add a little bit of texture and dimension there. So first of all, a black gingham piece, and then I come in with a beige and white striped. I'm going to tuck in behind that. There 
there we go. So now back up to that tag and I'm going to, oh no, first of all my journaling. Um, I just wanted to have a little bit of journaling as I mentioned about the lovely Sicilian who took our photo. So I've added that up the left hand side so it's not too prominent on the layout but it's there to be seen if anybody wants to read it. So now I'm with some lovely seam binding from Hey Little Magpie. I just thought this colour went really nicely with the page. I didn't look too far in my box. I pulled out yellow, which was way too yellow, and then I saw this one, so that's what I went with. I try and go to the first thing that I, my hands go on now, rather than spending hours looking through the box and then going back to the thing that I chose originally. <laughs> so just gluing this down in certain spots, just so it still looks like it's free moving on the page, but it is anchored and doesn't move away from where I want it to be. While I'm doing that, please don't forget to check the description box down below to see the playlist. Lots of people joining in and um, it's a really fun month long hop. So there's some amazing inspiration there. So just finishing off now with one of these JD 3D print seagulls and that's the layout done. I do hope I've provided some inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me and I shall see you again soon. Bye.